Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about another very important and interesting Microsoft 365 role based certificate. The reason is this is the shortest path to become Microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator expert. By following only three exams, you can become Microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator expert. Then another important fact is this combines security concepts and Microsoft 365 product related security features. Let's begin. I'm Kushant Gunardana. Let's talk about MS500 certificate. As I said, this is the shortest path to become Microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator expert. So if you see all these four paths uh, has more exams to complete Microsoft Certified Enterprise Administrator Expert, whereas MS500 uh, is the shortest path with only three exams, you can become Microsoft 365 Certified Enterprise Administrator Expert. So along with this, you need to complete MS100, which is Microsoft 365 Identity and Services, and MS101, Microsoft 365 Mobility and Security. By completing these three exams, you can become Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert. So I'm going to cover the modules that we're going to discuss during this training. Uh, first, I would like to talk about Microsoft 365 and Office 365. Because most of the people and attendees for training, they ask the difference between Office 365 and Microsoft 365. Office 365 is a simply a suite of applications. So starting with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Dell, Stream, Power BI. So all these applications are part of Office 365. So how this different from Microsoft 365? Microsoft 365 is a combination of three products. First one is Office 365. The second one is Windows Enterprise uh, version Windows 10 Enterprise operating system and then EMS EMS is Enterprise Mobility and Security so these are separate three products by Microsoft 365 they have combined all these products to a single subscription I hope you understand uh, Microsoft 365 and Office 365 difference we will be covering four courses within MS 500 MS 500 is plan to run in four days or 32 hours so we will be covering four courses within 32 hours under microsoft 500 or ms 500 the first course that i was talking about is managing microsoft 365 identity and access under this course we will be talking about four modules and the first course we will be covering four modules the first module is user and group security. So under this, we will be talking about user accounts in Microsoft 365, administrator roles and security groups in Microsoft 365, and also how to manage passwords. And then Azure AD identity protection, which is a feature comes with Azure Active Directory. We will be talking about that as well. And then hands-on labs. So module two covers identity synchronization, especially uh, on-premises Active Directory domain services to Azure Active Directory synchronization and authentication methods. So we'll be talking about that under module two and then module three is federated identities. How to plan Active Directory Federation service deployment and how to implement it. And then module four, we'll be talking about access management, uh, conditional access, managing device access, because as I said, Microsoft 365 is a combination of three products. It's not an application suite. So EMS, uh, under EMS, we will be having uh, Intune, which is mobile device management solution of Microsoft. So we have uh, endpoint manager uh, to manage devices. And then again, role-based access controls and solutions for external access, how to connect external uh, uh, guests or external users to our tenant. So these are the areas that we're going to cover under uh, first course. The second course, we will be talking about Microsoft 365 
threat protection. So under this, we will be talking about range of threat, threat vectors. The reason I explained Microsoft 365 MS 500 training is combination of Microsoft product and also a cyber security part of it. So under this, we'll be talking about various threat vectors because being a cloud product, we have vast range of uh, threat vectors and then security solutions in Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Secure Score to understand what is your uh, place or what is your status in Microsoft 365. So Microsoft 365 has something called a security score, which gives you a quantitative value about your tenant. And also it suggests you to improve your security. Under module two, we will be talking about advanced threat protection, also known as ATP. Again, a feature comes with Microsoft 365. Under this, we will be talking about Exchange Online Protection, Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection, uh, Managing Safe Links and Safe Attachments, and also Azure Advanced Threat Protection, and Microsoft Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection. As I said, this completes or this covers a device as well. Not only cloud, we have a device and we are covering whole thing. And then Module 3 is Threat Intelligence that is a way that Microsoft can detect even someone or attacker launch a real attack. So while attacker uh, completing certain pre-attack phases, Microsoft Threat Intelligence can detect the attack and take uh, necessary action. So we'll be talking about Threat Intelligence there and Security Dashboard and configuring Advanced Threat Analytics where on-premises uh, data centers, on-premises servers can be benefit of. And then we'll be talking about MDM or mobile device management, how to plan application management, plan mobile device management, and deploy mobile device management and enrolling devices to mobile device management. This is how you manage Android, iOS, and all sorts of uh, mobile devices within your enterprise. And then, uh, Third course, implementing Microsoft 365 information protection, we will be talking about information right management. So whenever you send an email, for an example, you don't want recipient to uh, take it printed or forward it to someone else. So how to control that? So we will be talking about that under information right management and then secure multipurpose internet mail extend extension or SMIME, how it works and Microsoft 365 message encryption, how to send an encrypted message to the recipient. And then we will be talking about Azure information protection, how to enforce encryption to your files, and then advanced information protection and Windows information protection. When it comes to device, how you gonna enforce encryption. And then module two covers data loss prevention, another technique which comes with Microsoft 365. This is to prevent uh, intentional and unintentional data, data leakage and then how to configure data loss prevention and how to protect your sensitive information based on that and how to protect how to protect internal users sending sensitive information of your company outside of your organization, how to protect them. And then we'll be talking about DLP protect documents and policy tips whenever users trying to uh, use a confidential information, users, users will be notified using policy, policy tips. And then we will be talking about cloud application security because Microsoft 365 application suit is work on cloud. And then using application, a cloud application security information and Microsoft Office 365 cloud app security. How to monitor your application, how to monitor who uses your application, from which IP ranges and what, what operating system that they use in order to access your application. So these are the areas that we're gonna cover under module three. So course five, four, administering Microsoft 365 built in compliance, compliance part of it, we'll be covering under fourth course. And there we'll be talking about archival and retention, how to manage heaps of data in your enterprise and how to manage your data not to be deleted and some cases we would want to keep certain data for long time. Sometimes local governments 
seven years, 25 years, how to keep them, how to control them without being deleted. Because users with permissions can delete this data, how to retain them, and then how to archive uh, data in Microsoft 365, especially emails and SharePoint documents. And then retention policies in Compliance Center, we will have multiple layers to apply retention policies and archiving and retention in exchange and then in place record management in SharePoint. And then what you will do, data governance in Microsoft 365, we will be talking about planning and security uh, compliance need and then building ethical walls in, in, in exchange online, how to prevent uh, two set of groups exchanging emails to each other in the same organization. There are certain scenarios where you would want to implement uh, ethical walls and then troubleshooting uh, data governance. And then the last one, last module is managing search and investigation. Sometimes for administrative purposes, we would want to search certain data. It can be an email, it can be a file, we would want to trace them. And then how to search content and then how to uh, search audit log uh, for investigation, how to find out if somebody has done something, how to find if somebody has removed another person from a group, how to find it, how to find if somebody de delete something. So that we will be talking about under audit log investigation. And finally, we'll be talking about advanced e-discovery where how to find out digital evidences to prosecute uh, someone. So if something goes wrong and after some years we found out that and how to prosecute them uh, in front of courts. So these are the areas that we're going to cover within Microsoft 365. I think now it's uh, clear about the course and the contents for the course that we're going to discuss uh, during four days and I hope this is informative and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.